everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming again with some idea I saw on a 7 Plaza channel. She have created page edge strips, beautiful decorative strips you can glue on the side of your paper, of your journaling page, journal page. And they are so gorgeous and I was so excited to do that tutorial. Uh, I did mine, <laughs> unfortunately, through to that uh, editing uh, videos for my Patreon and editing videos for YouTube. I somehow lost the first part of this. <laughs> so I'm gonna explain what I have created at the start and then I will put that rest what, which I still have on my computer together what I have created here. These are strips we're gonna create today. Again, I did use uh, newspapers for creating these strips. And I have to say, this is so much fun. I never created uh, strips like this on the edge of my journals. I did create it uh, tap, uh, like tap edging with some clusters, but never did this one. And <laughs> it's so much fun and it looks amazing. I hope you will enjoy it. So, I'm going to quickly show you what I have started with and then I will somehow add it to my uh, already made video. So first I went to a section in my newspapers where are all these puzzles and quizzes. I wanted to have few papers which do have this beautiful background like those crisscross and the, you know this background. You can see that here and here and here. So I wanted to have a few pieces with just simple background, which will um, which will be really good with all these little embellishments. So I did cut them out and back them with that uh, wrapping paper like I did before. And then I took my newspaper and from advertisement section, I neatly cut it strips <laughs> with some advertisements and also with some writing. I'm gonna cut a few pieces and show you what I did. Once I had prepared my pieces of newspapers, neatly cut it, I took my ruler and took one of uh, an old tea dyed paper which I had prepared for my journals and I just rip it on the pieces over the ruler edge and then between just oh, just rip it on pieces you can do it artistic way and enjoy it it's very satisfying and then I just started to glue all these pieces together so get up the glue Take some newspaper paper, take some tea dyed paper and just start to put them together to one long strip. I took it from here like uh, I'm making uh, something like snippet roll, base for snippet roll and that was in my head when I started to put all these pieces together that I'm gonna make it like base for snippet roll and kind of decorate it also that way like I am making snippet roll I try to keep one side uh, kind of straight and this side I didn't mind if there will be some you know overlapping edges because I knew I will do little clusters on my long strip. So I didn't mind that one edge will be bigger, another edge will be shorter, because I knew I will use all my uh, mini embellishments I created already in a previous video. So I knew I'm gonna use it as a decoration. So if there will be something not too nice, I can always cover it with all my prepared mini embellishments. I 
and to work with all these scraps it's really very satisfying to, <laughs> to grab my newspapers and start to look for the right treasury in my newspapers it's so much fun and i am more creative than if uh, more creative than if i will use some you know decorative uh, digital digital design i found myself that in my head are coming the ideas much more easy way and quick, quicker way than if i will be sitting here and staring on some decorative papers and thinking what i can do with them I do have one more, so I'm gonna glue it here. So once I had the base strip, kind of long base strip, I took a few more papers to kind of reinforce it to make it stronger. So I took two few more pieces of newspapers and glued them from the opposite side to kind of reinforce all these papers to make it nice and neat. I think I'm gonna keep it this way then I pull out from my stuff I do have here this perforated paper this is edge from office paper I think it's uh, called uh, never ending or a linen paper and it does have on both sides this perforated edge to help the paper to load into the printer uh, in the end of printing process you you just rip off this edge from the paper and then you are uh, you have in your hand nice a4 size or us letter size paper so i'm saving these edges uh, and i i have to say i love to use them in my journals they are gorgeous decoration so what i did i took this strip and kind of place it in the middle of my snippet roll paper or <laughs> I'm not sure how to this this collage strip that way I should say that so I glue it in the middle of my collage strip and I had that collage strip quite white this one it's not that white like I did in that video and the rest you will see because the rest I do have already uh, already in the videos which I didn't delete luckily so you will see that rest in the video and I was also talking about that uh, till now I've been following kind of ish the parts uh, that Margaret did in her 100 days uh, project but from now on I'm gonna kind of swap it to my needs I noticed that uh, this <laughs> this challenge doesn't have too much views on my channel. It's sad, but I hope it will get better because in the end we will have beautiful journal made from newspapers. And for that, I need uh, to create some parts and some something what I would like to see in the journal. So in these videos, which I uploaded till now, I already, I think, showed every basics about how to work with newspapers and from now on we will use all these basics to create all kind of things for the final journal i hope you will enjoy these parts which will be probably different than uh, margaret's challenge but it will be again uh, 
short videos with the thing you can create in one video and you will have finished uh, finished product. I hope you will enjoy that. And if you will join me to create all these, you will finish with beautiful journal, hopefully beautiful journal made from newspapers in the end. So uh, I do have video which starts from now on when I started to create, uh, to decorate my strips and I end up with these. So from now on, I'm gonna add the videos I already took when I created this one. I will put them together so you will see how I was continuing with this process. I hope you will enjoy it. And I do have now my base for creating this uh, page edge collage uh, strips. Uh, I'm gonna keep them all together. I'm gonna keep this all together. I'm gonna kind of create that snippet roll which I can cut later on the size of my pages. And from now on I'm just gonna add there here and there the paper, uh, the paper slips, mini embellishments and tickets which I already created for on newspapers and this should be just fun to just enjoy it. Uh, I do have most of them distressed from uh, from my previous work. If I don't have them distressed, maybe I will use some distress ink. If I will be distressing, I'm gonna use this Spectrum Noir Harmony Line Seal Brown, my favorite ink now. And I'm gonna just try to apply it all together. I can also add there, before I will do anything else, I can add there some stitching which I think will look totally cu cute. I made it quite white, which I will probably don't need to have in my journals as a, you know, page edge. So I was thinking if I will make it this way, then I can use my perforated strip, this one, as a navigator, and I can cut this long strip also on the half here, so I will have more strips with all kind of decorative elements on it. So first I'm gonna cover uh, kind of like two colorful parts and then I will put a little bit more embellishment just between. So two colorful parts I'm gonna cover with anything I will find here in my uh, papers, uh, these slips of paper. I think this way, yep. I do have so far glued all these, uh, the paper, uh, slips of papers, all of these little uh, embellishments I have created. I added also cutouts I do have from newspapers here and there. These are just light papers, this one. And then I cut kind of like large uh, words, which I think they will be perfect to have there. This one, these uh, numbers in circles. So I do have this layout so far, this I found forgotten. So when I will flip it over, I do have here this white strip. I'm going to use it because this is white and I'm going to cut it on half or, or using that strip. I'm going to cut it right here, all that strip and create two narrow strips from this white one. And here we are, strip number one. And strip number two. So all these little pieces, I will probably add there just glue and let them 
be on the right spot where <laughs> I meant them. So here, but it's not holding, I'm just gonna glue back and this is strip number two. I'm gonna distress the edges, those straight edges. And then I can add my a little embellishment here and there. And I think I'm done with my strips <laughs> through the process of decorating one part just fell off it was just got ripped off so it looks like this without any additional decoration just my uh, paper slips or, or slips of papers mixed together with those tickets I made before uh, glued on newspaper collage strip and here is how I did decorate them using my little off cuts and cutouts from newspapers which I did backed with uh, old uh, old envelope or sometimes I did not back them with old envelope I left them as they were so I do have loads of these already cut it off and prepared so this is how your strips can look like if you will use a newspaper images you can find them in advertisements in sport um, sports part of <laughs> newspapers this is some advertisement this was in yeah words of wisdom i have no idea i think it was close to all those riddles and <clears throat> puzzles this is just cut out from some uh, some column you know and all these are things you can find in the columns in the newspapers and they do look stunning this was in the the bingo uh, bingo adver bingo advert advertments there were those a snooker or billiard billiard balls so i cut them off and back them with that old envelope and the one i do have here So these are my decorated strips or page edge collage strips using images I found in our newspapers. I have to say I love them so much. I think in newspapers you can find so many inspiration for making junk journal decorations really so many so many amazing uh, little numbers little words there is uh, so many beautiful uh, images if you do have newspapers where there is what was happened a hundred years ago you know some newspapers has that section so you can find there even old uh, old photographies or old photographs so go to have a look to your newspapers because you will find their a real treasure for junk journal makers so this is my sharing for today i hope you will try it i hope you will go to you will go to hunt for treasure in your newspapers thank you so much for joining me today thank you so much for spending your time with me 
I started to put together all these videos in one playlist. The link will be down below. And also I started to add the names of other channels. I saw already some videos with the 100 day project uh, challenge. Please go to have a look. There is so many wonderful, ch uh, wonderful channels who are joining this challenge and you can find there so much inspiration. It's really great to try and get prepared some things, easy things to do for your journals. So all, uh, the names will be in the description box below as well. Thank you so much for all this amazing inspiration you are sharing with us, with makers. And thank you so much to Margaret for uh, inspiring me so much that I did join this one as well. It's <laughs> so much fun and I really do enjoy it. Uh, have a beautiful day. Take care of yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.